Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to do this really awesome eye transition effect that uh, people like Taylor Cut Films and Sam Calder have used in their video. Uh, I used it in my recent video called Summer Fun. I'll link that in the description below. So this is what we'll be doing today. It's a pretty cool transition as it zooms in through the actual eye into another clip. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Let's hop right into Premiere. Uh, so what you're going to need is two clips, one of a eye with a blink in it, and then whatever your clip is on the other end, it can be anything, it can be a car moving, you doing something, I chose a fire because I just wanted to use a fire, anyway, so you select the part of your, um, your eye clip that you want, and drag it onto your timeline, uh, right now once it's on your timeline, you're going to want to delete that audio because you never use it, so you're going to right click, click unlink, select and delete. Um, now that you've got this, this eye blink over here, you're going to want to, well I shot this in 60 frames a second, so personally I want to slow this down a little bit, it gives it more of a cinematic look to me. So I'm going to go and put it at uh, 40% uh, and then I'm going to find where the person blinks, over there. Right, now I'm going to go just a bit in front of that and go, hit C on my keyboard, cut, hit V, delete that bit. Uh, so now it's a bit slower, and then about there, I'm going to click C, cut, V, delete. Okay, so now you have your, your clip in slow motion of the, the person blinking their eye. Right, now you're going to get your clip of the fire, and you're going to drag that on as well. Let me just find it. Yeah, it's there. You're going to drag that on, and you're going to place that over there, and you're going to delete the... You're going to unlink the audio in the video, and you're going to delete the audio. Now, what needs to actually happen is the eye, the eye video has to be on top of the uh, clip that you are going towards, right? Going into. So you're going to find the point where the first bit of the eye opens, which is there. You're going to link put the clip underneath there. So right, now you need to uh, double click on your top top video layer, go to the effects control panel, um, go down to opacity, and select a ellipse mask, right? You're gonna click on that, it's gonna create this little circle, and you don't want the whole of the fire to be showing, so what you actually wanna do is click inverted, which will show the fire and not the eye. So you're gonna want to just scale that down quite a bit towards the, um, to, to the to what to the shape of the eye you're gonna drag that over the eye right um, let's just make that a little bit smaller over there and place that on the eye right now you're gonna click the toggle animation for the mask path now if it disappears like that all you got to do is click on mask one over there and it'll come back now this is called a keyframe so what you need to do is you need to go a frame in front you need to go frame forward and you need to follow the eye, so it goes, the eye goes up there, now you go there, automatically creates a keyframe for you. So you're going to want to con continue to do that until the eye is completely open. I'm going to speed up the video here for you because this gets a little bit boring, but you can pause here if you want to do it yourself. Okay, so once you've got all of your, um, your masks, your, your keyframes done, you're gonna, you got, you, you'll see that, you'll notice that the fire, it looks unnatural. You kind of want it to be a reflection in the eye, right? So you're gonna go to the beginning of that clip there. And you're gonna go to mask feather, right? And you're going to bring this up to about 45, 46, right? Because that gives it more of a, like a reflection sort of look. It doesn't give it as harsh a look, right? So now once you've done that, um, then, then the, this is what you'll get in the meantime. Right now, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but did you see in the beginning there, that little black piece in the front there of the eye, before it blinked? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the start of the clip there, and you're going to want to cut and separate the two clips, so that you get rid of that little black piece. Now the black piece is still there, all you can do is clear the mask on that second, the first bit of the clip. Now, you're, now that black piece is gone, so now it just goes straight into the eye, right? Now, that is basically the eye effect. But it doesn't look as nice if it's just like this and just go straight into the clip. So what you're going to want to do is go to uh, about, let's say, a couple of frames before the end of the clip. And you're going to want to go to scale. You're going to want to click on toggle animation. You're going to leave it at 100. And you're going to go to the end of the clip, right? And you're going to and you're gonna go to the end of the clip there. And you're going to zoom in like to about 500, right? Okay. Um, then... 
that just gives it an, a zoom in effect so it goes whew, straight in now what you're going to want to do just to give it an even more of a, a blurry look you want to go to your effects control panel but you're going to want to search for an effect called directional blur now basically this gives it a little bit of blur in the video so you're going to want to drop that on your top layer clip go back to editing um and you're going to want to go scroll down on that clip and you're going to find directional blur so you see if i put the direction up right it gets a bit blurry now let's just reset that if i put the blur length you can see how, how much more it blurs it right so you want to put this at about 10 9 9 10 11 or something like that okay we don't need to change the direction for this one but so you're going to actually want to make the first keyframe here zero right just so that it um it the directional blur gets more as it goes in right so it's going to be something like this so you can see now it looks even better see as it starts to zoom in round about here you can see it starts to blur as it goes in that gives it a really cool effect and it just seamlessly goes straight through what you can also do if you guys want to is you can add a like a whoosh transition sound i will link one of the whoosh transition sounds that i have uh, i'll link it in the description so that you can add it to that little bit right there to make it even better uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like a comment don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications because i will be posting a lot more tutorials like this let me know if you liked it um go check out my other video and if there are any effects in that video that you guys want to learn let me know and i'll make a tutorial on them anyway uh thank you so much for watching uh see you guys next time